Brent Pham went to go see David Yost. He went to go see David Yost at one of his giveaways when he was signing at the Metro Ham Convention. Right? Here's the video. So he is here going to see David Yost. This is the video where he kind of fans out. Uh, you see it and it's like, it's like looks to be like a quick interaction. You look, notice how far the camera is away because this is going to come in handy a little bit later. So on the car is going to be 371. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. And then can you put a quote on this one? Let me see. Um, Normally with this one, I would write affirmative. Affirmative. Oh my God. <laughs> Brent is extremely happy because David Yost is at this point one of his top five favorite Rangers. Okay, and you know, he'll tell a story about how David stood up to the bullies. My favorite color is blue because I saw him on TV. His favorite color is blue because he saw David on TV. Think about this, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then this one, usually it's like it's morphing time, yep. Triceratops. It's morphing time, Triceratops. Man, Brent is a straight David Yost fan at this point. But something is about to happen that makes Brent hate David Yost. Now, Brent, if you're watching, please hit the link. I've emailed it to you. And now it's posted in the comment section. You can hear the excitement in Brent's voice. Let, let's go back to it. Let's go back. Look, look at this smile. Look at that smile. <laughs> that smile. My favorite color is blue because I saw him on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's like it's morphing time, triceratops. Now, what could go wrong? The video abruptly ends. It ends right there. Well, as Brent. As Brent would tell it, he was later surrounded by security and asked to delete a portion of the video. And I've covered it on this channel at Agnosium. But now we finally have David Yost's story from the credit card. So right out the gate, if you've been here, you already know that Brent's claim his refund was rejected by the credit card dispute. Uh, credit card holder, which happens to be Barclays. And on August 15th, literally almost three months ago, his car got recharged. So dear Brent, thank you for notifying us of your billing dispute with David Yost Blue in the amount of $65 on May 18th, 2024. We issued a provisional credit to your account on 729 2024 while we presented your claim to the merchant bank at this time the merchant has provided a response to validate the transaction unfortunately we are not able to pursue this matter further on your behalf for the following reason so they like look we tap it out the merchant which is david yos has not violated the terms and conditions of the sales agreement the dispute transaction in the amount of 65 dollars has been Reapply to your account. This adjustment will appear on one of your next two billing statements. If you have any additional supporting documentation or if information not previously provided, you may re 
reassert your claim by sending a signed statement to within 10 days from the date of this letter. Now, the beauty of this is they include David Yost's response, which we're about to see. Now, look, they start off with a summary, but we're not going to read the summary yet. Um, they basically say this is why we're declining it. And, you know, here's the reason. But what part of David Yost's proof, he is of the argument that Brent got what he paid for. He sent this as proof. He said, look, he started sending proof. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. I'm like, I'm looking at this like, hey, yo, what the fuck? What? <laughs> this is being cited as David Yost's proof. But it's not of proof that he that Brent received the service. It's proof of some allegations that David Yost asserts onto Brent. So this is 100% proof that your boy David Yost, and this looks like a screenshot from a telephone, was screenshotting my content. <laughs> I've been used as evidence in the Brent case or Brent gate, Brent versus David Yost. Okay. And you like, wait, 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 something ain't right. Something ain't right. Now we finally get, um, <laughs> the words from David Yost. Okay. Now, if you look and you probably see some page numbers in the corners, uh, at it, but here is David Yost's story as written as you can see. So you can see it from your eyes. This is Square Dispute with Brent Fam, aka Brent Fam 85 on Instagram. <laughs> okay. Brent received the video he paid for. He videotaped me autographing items for authentication purposes. Once I film, once I finished autographing the items, he started asking controversial questions. So now he's like, Britain's asking controversial questions. I, David Yost, turned his camera off of me, but answered one of the questions. So he had the audio of my answer. I could tell he would use my answer to stir up controversy. <laughs> like, what? Like, what? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now, me, if I ever talk to David Yost, I'm like, how could you tell he was going to use the answer to start up controversy? Furthermore, how did you know he was asking you a controversial question? Because the question, if you remember, is the, why did the, the whole leaving of the show with ASJ and Walter Jones talking about, oh, we left the show because of this. We left it because of that. And according to Brent, David Yost said that's not entirely true, which we really don't. It's kind of murky on what's not entirely true. So let's continue. Brent has gone on social media. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We got to get to it. I skipped over this part. I could tell he would use my answer to stir up controversy. I asked security to have him delete the end of the video <laughs> delete it so look now we have we have confirmation that david yost did indeed ask security to delete ask security to have brent delete the end of the video now the proof that you saw earlier is what the next thing is about to say brent brent has gone on social media claiming he was bullied surrounded and other untrue facts again to stir up controversy to get likes and clicks for social media now this is where the confusion comes into play that brent is not necessarily like if you go look at the data the evidence submitted this is not something that brent posted this is something that i posted which leads to are people getting confused or thinking that because I post uh, Brent content that that is me, that Brent is somehow me? I have no idea <laughs> because as we know, Brent goes to cons and tells people he goes on shows like Henry Resilient. Now, 
Let's continue David Yo's statement. Brandon's going on social media claiming he was bullied, surrounded, and other untrue facts, again, to stir up controversy to get likes and clicks for social media. He was definitely not bullied by me or any security guards, and he was not surrounded. There were two security guards wearing kilts and t-shirts, hardly threatening. Now, I do have pictures of the security guards right here, wearing kilts and t-shirts, I believe. Brent received the video. Whoop, wrong one. And here is the other picture. I don't know about you guys, but these guys look pretty threatening to me. But we must continue with David Yost's statement because according to him, this is not threatening at all. What do you think? So continue. Brent proceeded to play games and act like he didn't know what security was talking about, pretended the video was on his phone and continued to lie. So now he's calling Brent a liar. He's saying Brent lied. Eventually he produced, let's, can, let's go down. Let's go down. This is Brent's evidence. Uh, Brent took these pictures, which I did ask him to scan in. Uh, Brent proceeded to play games and act like he didn't know what security was talking about, pretended the video was on his phone and continued to lie. Eventually, he produced the camera and the audio was deleted from the final portion of the video. I guess he became upset that he wouldn't get the controversy he wanted and was other. So now he's trying to start other controversy about me making, about me by making false and embellished claims about me. See attached screenshots from Twitter. Now the attached screenshots is literally just my content. You know, this, this is all me. Now is my content, I have to come up with a, cre a creative thumbnail, creative title. Um, and these are Brent's words. <laughs> Power Ranger fan violated by his favorite Power Ranger. Now, people are like, you shouldn't say violate. I'm like, uh, Brent said he felt violated. What, what should we do? Power Ranger. Now, look, this is him like caping for Nakia and Karen Ashley. Uh, but that's what Brent said. Now, we do have the summary of it after that. But what do you guys think so far? Uh, they go to show that, you know, the, the square. This is from David Yost. Um, more screenshots. <laughs> more screenshots. Of the whole delete the footage, <laughs> you know, uh, st stuff of, of this similar nature. They show the $371 that Brent was ultimately charged and the $65 that was for the video because he charges $15 for the video. Now, when it comes to the summary portion of it, I had to retype it because here is. The summary. Not the most legible, but thank goodness you got me and I typed it. So, what does it say? Give me a second. Let me make it a little bigger for y'all. I am saying, let me make it a little bigger. <laughs> no, let me not, that's too big. All right, we can actually read it right here. Payment of $370 uh, was, pro, pro, was, a, was for a product by David Yost. Brent gave consent to Bill and was present at the point of sale for secure contactless NFC payment. Brent claim is invalid as goods and services match what was sold as described by David Yost. Brent received an approved service before payment. This is all true. Like this is a report that I would write where you just stick to the facts. Um, Brent authorized authorization of the payment serves as his acceptance that the payment in terms of sale were satisfactory. Description of the service was provided by David Yost. David Yost went on to say, <laughs> he received the video he paid for, which was to record me signing his items. After that, he left his camera going and started asking me questions, trying to be controversial. <laughs> like, look, that's such a buzzword. I asked security 
to have me delete the portions that were not in line. Two weeks later, he was trying to post clickbait content claiming he paid for an interview, which I do not do, and that he was bullied. Untrue. Question. So this is the this is the sales rep, the customer service person asking him a question. Did your customer receive the product at the time of purchase? David Yost. Yes. Next question. Can the car holder contact you directly to resolve this claim? David Yost provides an email. Additional details provided by David Yost. Brent was giving the service he paid for, which was to videotape me signing autographs. I do not do paid interviews as he's claiming on social media. I don't think um, Brent said a, a whatchamacallit. David Yost is willing to work with Brent to resolving the claim. Please have Brent contact David Yost for resolution. Please see attached payment documentation. So that was the summary that I read, which was not the most, um, as I would say, Jesus, legible. Sorry, guys. Um, And I think I've, did I lose it? Right here. That was the summary that just wasn't legible uh, right here. And now I do have behind the scenes Brent Fam. But what do you guys think about the story? Before I bring him up, I'll say this. This is the point where it kind of got murky for me in his story, in the David Yo story. Right? Where he says, I turned off his camera. Now, looking at the footage um, of the camera, it's so far. So, like, I don't know if he could reach it and touch it and turn it off, but it seems super duper far where he would literally have to reach out and turn the camera away. Um, Not sure, uh, but according to, to Brent, it stopped recording. And then it came back. But I don't know. What do you guys think of the story? Are you with Brent or are you with David? Put B or D in the chat. Now, let me bring up Brent and everyone can see what the hell is going on. With that being said, guys, do me a favor. Let's give a warm welcome for your favorite person that everyone seems to love on the channel. <laughs> All right, Brent, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling fine. I mean, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. This was an unfortunate situation and I understand the um, People are going to say, "Look, the 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 credit card they deny your 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 claim, so it must be wrong." But people, what they conveniently leave out is that you could dispute it, and I've done this numerous times with like Chase, like uh, I had tickets for the Olympics, and they said you agree to the terms of service, no refunds. I'm like, okay, um, this is round one. We can keep going, and I got my money back because just because you agree to the terms of service when you make the transaction, there's always other factors that play into that come into play. And as you could see with the video, you see this picture right here, the Austin St. John, you, 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 at the end of the video, you see this picture, right? Yeah. What you see, what the, the, and you, and you, David admits that uh, it was for authentication purposes, right? Mm-hmm. And he, he, he provided a breakdown of how much I paid for autographs. I paid for six autographs and a video. Is, those are the facts, right? Sure. Where are you going so, with this? Um, how many autographs do you, do you see in that picture? Him signing. You see maybe one, one or two, right? I think I, think I saw two. I saw two. Two. Um, where's the, where are the others? Oh, where so are the others? So now you're saying you didn't get these six signatures. No, and, and, and he knows this. He knows, but but I and I and I had this argument with security. I'm like, you're deleting um the autographs. And, he, and he's like, he doesn't care. You bad um actions have negative cons um bad behavior has consequences. 
And um, I could show you right now the picture that what was deleted. And and I, if David's watching, he knows this is true. If it wasn't true, um, he probably would sue me. That's 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 how he he probably likes. This is the picture that I got signed by David. Um, it says, "I want to, but I'm afraid." Um, so this is the third uh, autograph of six. And this is Amy Joe's portion. Billy, please, we need you. I showed him all of this. And then the other one. Zordon said, if I face my fear, I could break Rita's spell. And then another one. Yes. I faced my fear and overcame a Blue Ranger, David Yost. Six autographs. Where's the footage? It was deleted, and he knows it. So these people claim that I got what I paid for. A bunch of nonsense. And even in... And, and I, I got this one signed cash to compensate him for the quotes that he wrote. So um, for people who claim, and then I came back again. More, remember the picture I told you I want to get signed? I got it signed. Okay. All right. More. So you pay this to record six autographs getting signed. Yes. And you only get two and you're saying hey you didn't get what you fully paid for right and um i don't understand why this is uh such a people siding with david they have every right to do so but you don't pay 65 dollars to if, if you're paying over 300 dollars worth of an autograph and paying him over 300 dollars worth of money, that's not even counting what I, I paid what I uh, paid to see him in Los An in LA Comic Con, or the, the second time I came to see him. This is just the first transaction. And for people to claim, oh, you got what you paid for, he he, you authenticated two autographs. I'm like, no, you're not paying sixty five dollars to get a, a a half a job. You're paying that sixty five dollars for authentic autograph authentication for every single autograph. Ah, okay. And um, so for people claiming, oh, you're exaggerating, like I see in the comments, I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the comments. Yeah, I didn't get what I paid for. And when you make a claim, you, it's very vague. The questions they ask you aren't very specific. So naturally it got rejected because David was just swamped them with, with proof or quote unquote proof. Okay. And they just accepted it. So now my question is, why didn't you respond within 10 days? If you have additional supporting documentation or information not previously provided, you may reassert your claim by sending a signed statement within 10 days from the date of this. Letter. Oh, because um, I didn't get the I didn't get this in the mail. It got misplaced and I talked to them and that's why I'm able to open it up. So it got lost in the mail. And that's I don't know if that's a good excuse or not, but that's that's what happened. And are you opening it up? Oh, yes, I am. Because I am for sure. And I have to provide uh, supporting documentation. What they're looking for is um, the con owner, the con speaking up. That's what they're looking for. And, you know, that takes a while. What do you, what so, do you mean the con speaking up? What does that entail? Like them speaking their side of the story. That, that's some of the stuff that they mentioned when I asked them what, what additional supporting documentation, like hearing from the secure, some of the security, the con owner, stuff like that. And I have to prove to, I have to show that I have to send that video that uh, you show on your channel to show that it was an incomplete job. So okay. I was able to send that before because it was just like, it's just when you make a dispute, I don't know if it's with um, Barclays only specifically or with other credit card companies, they ask very general questions and they don't give like a, an opportunity for you to submit like uh, videos and stuff. So I just answer the questions and then just open up the case and he responded. Okay, so uh, videotape me autographing items for authentication purposes. So why didn't you put in your original that you paid to videotape six items being signed and uh, after he deleted the, the video only had uh, two items being signed? Wouldn't that have been a more concise argument? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that. Um, I didn't probably maybe didn't make the best argument, but yeah, I could probably, that's, the, that's why there's a back and forth. This is just the, the first go around. And so has your time expired? No, are they, they said, they okay, so they're, they're willing to let you reapply for yeah. a refund. Do you, is the con owners working with you? Will they provide like a statement with a signature on it? 
I haven't spoke to them about a statement specifically. Um, it's been very hard to contact them. And so, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this thing is pretty like cut and clear. How did you feel about his story that you got what you paid for? Did you think it was? No. Oh, no. What did you think when he said you were posting uh, things on social media for clickbait? First of all, I was not posting. Um, I came on your channel to speak and your editor says, I never said that I was violated. That was uh, either you or your editor. So I never said those. I never said the word violated ever. And you sure about that? I actually, I, I think I said, did you feel violated? And you said, yes. I think that's, that's how it actually played out. Okay. Um, so if you want to like stick to the semantics, like, oh, I never said I was violated. Well, technically you never said, but when I asked you, did you feel violated? You definitely said yes. Okay. Show that proof. But either way, <sighs> Bruh, I'm not about to look for that shit, but I'm, okay, I'm pretty well, sure it's in there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in there. Uh, Blake said, what did David Yo say in Brent's video? I love David, but what a weird flex to enforce deletions by security. Thanks for asking the hard questions, Brent. So it looks like you got a member of the family. Family. In the um, yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate that. I mean, I didn't expect people to come out and support because people are making arguments like, oh, you left things out of context. But what argument could could you make for forcing a deletion? Okay, I might have something out of context. This question, what? would justify a forced deletion of a video. What are the, what are some of these situations? I mean, I think it was a bitch move on David Yo's part, but that is me. That's my my opinion that hey, uh -huh. having people delete stuff uh because it hurts your feelings is never the way. Right. And even if I ask uh a personal question, which I didn't. I just asked them about um I just played a video from the Fanword video. And I asked them, um, can I ask you about a situation with Austin Tate, uh, with your uh, former co-stars? I just played the fan word video. I didn't ask him. I was able to, I wasn't, I didn't get the chance to even ask him a question. I just played the fan word video and he got triggered apparently. And the con owner spoke to me. He said that he should know, even if he asked, even if I asked a question that was quote unquote inappropriate or out of line, he should have asked me as a professional actor to this is the part the video i'll give you a refund and i would have done it because i know henry you you're looking for content you're a content creator you probably would disagree with trying to negotiate no i ain't negotiating hey fuck you it's my footage Eat right it. right right then we have a, a difference of opinion there but i would have deleted the video if he gave me a refund if he asked me nicely but, but he didn't ask me he never even mentioned um that he had an issue with it he just used security as a quote-unquote goon squad to like intimidate me to delete the video. So and to be clear, you never asked him any questions. No, I just played the fan word video. I asked him, uh, the question I asked him was, can I ask you about a situation, the rough situation that your two, two of your former co-stars discussed on social media? And he agreed. So I played the fan word video to provide context. And I, I, I got to like maybe the part where Walter's talking about them, uh, something with the attorneys. I don't remember exactly. And then he, I didn't even get to, a chance to ask the question. Okay. So Death said, did you know the Yos, we know you are watching. Click the link. <laughs> David Yos, we know you're watching. Click the link and tell your side. I mean, I mean, this is a new revelation. Uh, the fact that David Yo said, hey, you are about to start ans asking controversial questions. And now you're up here saying you never asked a question. You just played the video and he answered your question, which it sounded like he reacted to the video. Is that true? The question, the question I asked was, can I ask you a question about a walk off situation that your two of your former co-stars uh, discussed on social media? Fan word is social media. And he said, yeah. And so I played I played him the fan word video. I, the question I was going to ask is, um, I, I never, I never asked this to be clear, but because it never got to that point. Um, can I, what, what actually happened from his point of view? I asked this, I asked Amy Joe about this. She answered it like a, uh, she gave her opinion and then that's it. What was Amy Joe's answer? She said, um, I have to, I have to watch her video. I, I, I don't want to misquote her because I know there's a lot of Amy Joe fans and I don't want to be accused of taking things, not providing the proper Wait, quote. Whatever. She let you record her answering this question? Yes. Yes. Where the hell is and that recording at? 
she told me not to put on social media. And I told her, she said, um, <laughs> keep this on social media. Keep this on. And I'm, gonna keep, I'm keeping my word. And if people don't believe me, uh, that's that's their problem. But I, she told me, I saw her in Las Vegas and she let me record it because I bought a lot of stuff from her. A lot of your uh, your your viewers, uh, one of them asked me to have like multiple pictures signed. So basically I was able to um, put it in a bundle. So it was like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff for her to sign. And I asked her, could I record this? the session she's like yeah and she said she told me to keep it off social media now why do you think she would tell you to keep it off social media i'm speculating because her maybe i don't know maybe she she doesn't want backlash i don't know maybe she's not telling the truth i don't know i don't know why but i'm keeping my word because i specifically told her that i would keep not post a video on social media okay why didn't you bring this david yo stuff sooner like you got this or it was sent out in August. Why are we just now getting it damn near in October? Oh, because you asked me to, you asked me about it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. So you come on the station, you come on the channel and you say, hey, David Yost uh, has security surround me and took my money. And oh, yeah, yeah, oh, help me. You get this yeah. in the mail and then you're like, well, I'm not going to, I'm just going to sit on it. Oh, no, no, because I'm trying, I was trying to get in contact with the con and I'm trying to get that video that video footage back. Blake said, David Yells pulled a Karen Ashley. Got to get that bag and run. I beg you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Got to get my bag and run. I mean, it's $65, but I mean, I'd be pissed yeah. off if I paid for videotaping six items and I only have two. I mean, not that I don't think, I mean, there. what's the resale value of the David Yo signature on the mar- on the market? I don't know, but when I when I t- spoke with him, it wasn't that wasn't the main focus. It was that scene in the the show was funny because you know how he has his fear of fish and then he comes overcomes it in one second. Oh. And I just find that scene funny. So was authentic autograph authentication was that on my mind? I mean, sure. I mean, if I want to resell, if someone wants it and they pay enough, and I provide that video, just show is just another way to reassure people that the autographs are real but that wasn't the the focus that wasn't the the main that's not the reason i told him that's the reason he assumed and yeah it was to show that they're real but okay now it said that david yost was willing to work with you about everything he provided his email have you been successful with that no but you did email him the the uh the mighty more uh whatever whatever the whatever email he had no, the email that was provided in his response. Did you try that email? Not yet, but I, I, I'll try. Okay. But it doesn't seem like... <laughs> You're doing all things wrong. You were supposed to... One, you were supposed to respond within 10 days, but you said they have... They have... They're going to let you reapply anyway. But two, you didn't even try to reach out to... But this shouldn't be the... F- Henry, I, I, I know your channel has a certain type of audience member, but you're just... If whether I... The focus... Whether I do that or not... I'm that's, just, I'm, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. From I know a credit card standpoint, we said, hey, he's willing to work out, work it out with you. Here's his contact information. And when you come back and say you want a refund, they are going to ask you, did you try working it out with them? And you're going to say, well, no, I shouldn't have to go through that. Okay. Yeah. So I, I will contact him, but I'm looking to contact with the, the, the con owners first to get their perspective before I contact him. I mean, I don't know why I have to disclose all this, but yeah, I'll, I'll do it for the sake of because that's kind of a something on the side, but yeah, I will contact him, but I know your, 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 your audience will be like, Oh, see, he didn't do everything right. I'm like, what? So what David did, hmm, you're going to excuse that because I didn't follow what you, you I don't, deemed think, it I don't think people are excusing what he did, but I mean, I, I've been in these situations before they're going to yeah. say, Hey, we provided his contact information. Did you at least try to work it out with him? And your answer is probably going to be, well, I was waiting on this or some excuse. Uh-huh. But if you, if you can say, Hey, I, I reached out to him. He ignored me. I reached out to him on this day. I reached out to him on that day. I reached out to him three Agent? times. No, no, no. Uh, you have to go Henry, through. Uh, why are we arguing this? You okay. have to go through the steps that the credit card company gives you. You can't be like, well, I didn't use that. Right, email. Right, and I, I went I this. Okay. Why are we arguing? Okay. So. I I can I don't want to disclose what's going on between my credit. I mean, I guess you're asking me to. So I am in contact with them, and there's and they told me to contact the con and all that stuff. And then um, once you talk with the con, um, email him, and then tell them, and then work it out there. So there are steps I'm taking to resolve this, but the the fact that we're focusing on this is just okay. That's that's the the nature of coming on your channel. Well, some people are accusing you of not reaching out because you wanted. The drama. What do you say to that? 
You don't have to play the clip. Okay, so what? Okay, so what? Play the clip, Henry. Come on, play it, play it, play it now. Okay. And so I know what? there's ninja watchers that are messaging me saying that there are people on your in the chat being blocked because they have a certain message that does not fall in line with what the odd the general audience has. I don't. There know, are people man. messaging. Yes, they are. Um, they're Dude, messaging me. I'm not in the and, chat. Um, Who's got blocked? And, they should be message. Why would they not message me, the person who runs the channel, if they're getting blocked? That doesn't make any sense. It, hey, it, it does. It, but I'm going to message Brent, who has absolutely zero control, authority, or say so on the channel. And my mods are saying, who did we block? Um, I don't know. But that's what they're telling me. And uh, I don't know um, whether that's true or not. I don't know. But that's what they're telling me. And but yeah, OK, so what? Um, if they think I'm causing drama. Um, OK, OK, so what? I'll, I'll say it again. OK, so what? Are you, okay, play it again. Is your goal play to start? Is your goal to start drama? No, my goal is to get my money back. And even if it was, let, let's say if it was to start drama. Okay, so what? Like, okay, so what? <laughs> Does that give uh, David the right to take uh, and use security as a goon squad to take away, to intimidate someone, to take away something that they paid for? Well... That does give him credit that you're just doing this to start controversy, though. You ever think? But about Henry, that? it doesn't matter if 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 he felt that way, he should have talked to me in front of me and said, "Please delete the video. I'll give you a refund." That is what he should have done. That's what the con owner said. If he felt something wanted to be deleted, he should have talked to me in person and said, "Please delete this. I'll give you a refund." He never did that. Okay. So and any, I don't, any, any more yeah. questions for Brent, guys, before I start bringing people up? Because I'm sure people are dying to talk to you. Oh, are they? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so do it seems you pretty obvious to me um, what David did. He didn't offer. He he took away. This is in any context in a grocery store, a bookstore, a I don't know, a, a computer store. If you offer a service and then you pay for us, someone pays for that service, you give it to them and then you have security surround them to force them to give up a part of what they paid for. I don't think people would find that acceptable, um, regardless of whether you felt that that person is trying to cause drama or you don't like that person. They are entitled to what they paid for. And as you could see in the in the breakdown, I paid for a video. I paid for six autographs. That's just that's just what I paid for with my credit card. And I came to buy even more autographs from him afterwards because it was a great interaction. I mean, or a reasonable interaction, not the greatest, but reasonable enough. And for and after I paid five hundred dollars worth of items from David Yost, he still had the nerve to have security uh, do what they did. And people might say security did a poor job. Well, security should have been involved in the first place. David has to hold some responsibility for that. And he uh, he did authorize their what they did. So he does hold he do, does hold a lot of the responsibility for what they did. Now you could argue whether whether how they treated me was poor or not. Bottom line, they asked me to delete the video following his orders. And whether I lied about the phone being on the the video being on my phone, that's absolutely that's a lie on his part. I lost my phone. One of the security guards will confirm that I did lose my phone because I, I was looking for an an hour or two after everyone was gone from the con, and I. And I still lost my phone. So what David's saying is flat out a lie and he knows it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. He says, I turned his camera off of me. He turned it off. So I didn't see this part where he turned it away. I didn't see that particular, this part, but he answered one of the questions. So he had me up. Yeah. And I had the audio because he gave me permission and look, there's one video. So he was under the impression that the entire interaction was on one video. The one session was being recorded. People accusing me of two videos. No, no, no. It was one interaction being recorded because that's what I paid for. Okay. So now we, so now we're getting more context. Uh, this was, this was, this is the first time uh, you brought up the six signatures that you paid for. Uh, but we do have my man, Blake, who says, um, <laughs> sorry, give me a second. He says, okay, so okay, what? So what? David is a celebrity posted many times over. Why was this one different? Our double agent holding these Rangers accountable. <laughs> so uh, Blake is clearly, this is someone who supports you that has not been blocked by moderation or anything. I don't know who people are saying they support you and they were blocked. I don't know. But uh, they could be lying, but you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of that going around. Hey, thank you, Blake. We, we appreciate you being part of the family. Uh, anything okay. else you want to say, Brent, before I bring someone else up? Yeah. So this this notion that it was too, that's irrelevant. And I think this shows that David Yost, he knew that the entire session was to be recorded. 
that he gave consent to that because you see the words, his own words saying that he he gave consent to have the entire session recorded. Only when I played the fan word video was when he got quote unquote triggered, but he never mentioned any of this to me. Uh, he only, I only dealt with security and I only dealt with them. And, and he, he had the nerve to tell security that he, did, he, he didn't offer a video, which is hilarious because as you can see right now, he took my money. He, he used my credit card 371. You could see the, he saw the breakdown on his, on his tablet. So he's the one lying, not me. Yeah. yeah 371. And um, you could see the breakdown. I don't know. Um, yeah, there you go. Sixty-five dollars for the video. Sixty-five dollars for a video. So he knew he knew what um, what he was getting into. It's not like I I I came up to him like paparazzi. That's not absolutely untrue. So he knew I was recording uh, to record the entire interaction, which included the four autographs that are missing because there are six autographs that he could see that I paid for. And I'm not going to pay sixty-five dollars just for a, a half job. I'm paying it for the entire interaction. So okay. people claiming that I'm exaggerating whatever. No, no, no. Um, his response shows that he knew what he was getting into, that he consented because he wanted my money, which is why people are at cons. So I don't know why if people are Dave, pro David Yost or whatever, that that is their right. But it's important that people know that I felt that this is this is bullying what he did because this is not this would not be acceptable in any business. If just because you, you think that someone the why you think someone might do something like if you go to Costco and you buy a, in bulk of of a certain product, oh they might resell it or they might do something. And I'm I'm not we're gonna take away their product. We're not gonna give them a refund. That's not how businesses should work. If you don't like if you for some reason you agree disagree with someone's quote intentions. You, you at the, the very least you ask them, oh, could you give the product back? We'll, we'll refund you the money. But he didn't have the courtesy to do that because he's an entitled diva who um, who who does interviews crying about being bullied. But he should look at his own behavior. And he's the one who did the bullying. I paid five hundred dollars, and that's how he treats me. I mean, he shouldn't do that to anybody. But the amount of money that was being paid, maybe he would think twice. But apparently not, because he's a jerk. And yeah, that's he's a jerk, and he doesn't want to acknowledge what he did. Because if I did something so egregious where that would be justified, me. where I actually, if I committed a crime, I recorded him with something like that, he would have said it. He would have said, this Brent, fam, um, if Dust asked him, can you speak on Brent Fam? And he's like, yes, I know Brent Fam. He did this, this, and this. And I'm fully justified in what I did. I might have look, to block look at his, his coward response. Uh, I probably do. I might have to block you, Dust. Or he didn't say, <laughs> I might have to block you, Don. <laughs> he, he knows it wouldn't be acceptable. Okay. He, he knows, he all knows. Right. How do you stay resilient through it all as you read the comment section uh, on do. some Aaron stuff? As I tell people, don't read the comment section. Uh, how do you stay resilient through all the hatred or vitriol or disagreement or people like Chef Maku just coming up here and saying, look, I think you're fully just walking out. How do you deal with that? Because you just read the facts and people are going to say, oh, you're taking, what more context do you need? I'm sorry, like in order for to me to justify someone forcibly deleting a video and not giving a refund, a crime has to be committed, in my opinion. A crime has, and, and there's no proof of that. Just because there's no proof of something existing does not mean that that's proof of, of existence of no of of no proof. Okay, like, just so because what? I don't say something doesn't mean it doesn't exist or whatever. You know, it's just unbelievable. Your audience, they're going to have a certain view. David Yost was a good friend of JDF's. I understand that. If what I said about if this was Walter Jones or Austin St. John, you everyone would be on board, I think. I, I believe this. Well, because I'm on board with you. I'm just, I mean. No, I'm talking about your audience. They're going to accuse me of, do I don't care? know, like being full of shit. And no, no, you're talking about your audience. You're talk, you're, you asked me a question about how do I deal with these people? Um, yeah, because- again, the, the people that are watching that aren't, that are, Either they can't come on, they can't comment or whatever, and they're going to see, okay, Bill might accuse me of taking things out of context. Um, I provided okay, you I might have left statements. something out of context. I provided you all nine pages, one through nine. I even provided you the the page with like with four sentences on it, which is like, like a computer thing. You did. I even provided you that page because people were going to say you didn't provide the whole package. He did provide the and, whole package, guys. I mean, I could, I could verify I did receive pages one through nine. And it's like, what, what more do I, and David doesn't want to respond. I can't, we can't force him to respond. That's, that's the missing piece. The context of the situation involves 
The con owner, which he did speak multiple times, said that David should have uh, offered a refund and asked me nicely, which I would have I would have done. He felt that David used his security as a goon squad. He felt four security guards were surrounding me, and the con owner felt it was because um, it was David instructed it to, them to do that. We didn't hear from David's side, but all he wants to say, he wants to uh, block people because he knows that he what he did was is not would not be acceptable. And but but by keeping silent, uh, many of people that are uh, Team David, they'll say, "Oh, um, maybe Brett's leaving out context. Well, maybe this, this, or that. You know, like um, what more context do I have to provide? Like um, if if I committed a crime, David would have mentioned that. He would have mentioned that by now. Um, he would if I was lying. David would probably um, file some sort of lawsuit for slander." Because this 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 is potentially damaging. What I'm saying is potentially damaging, but he's silent because he knows I'm telling the truth. And people that outside of your audience that are ninja watching, they know this as well because um, I provide the, the proof, the documentation from his own words. A autograph for authentication purposes. That was not the reason that I I stated to him. I just said I want to film the, the entire session. He just made that assumption and oh, we go off that. Oh, so he made that uh, authentication thing up. That was an assumption that he made because when people, when most people uh, videotape, it was probably because they want to see him signing. I never said I want to, uh, for authentication, I never said that, but. Um, Hold on. Uh, Angel Pet said, Brent, I was on your side. Then your story had more hoes than Swiss cheese. We're all on your, all on your aid. Even Francis, us not believe if you is your fault. Um, okay, that's, he could say whatever he wants because um, I cannot, I did not have a video of an entire session from start to finish. In many cases, that's not possible. You know this, Henry, but you just have to go off what you have. And if he does, if Angel doesn't want to believe me, that's his right. Um, we provided what David said in in a, a, the doc, his response, authentication purposes, six autographs purchased, only two on video. People could make the, make, make conclusions for themselves. <sighs> Whether I got what I paid for. Okay. Um, malicious intent. This is what Angel, malicious intent. I'll play this. I'll just say the, the, the sound clip because it's from my own mouth. Okay, so what? If what <laughs> my intentions, if I go to these cons to cause drama, if I'm Hetty's editor, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, um, Austin is going to be at New York Comic Con. I'm going to ask him about certain things to cause drama. That does not give Austin St. John the right to kick them out just because they ask some questions that he doesn't like. If, if, or if they pay him for an, a video, and the, he asks him questions, asks awesome questions that he doesn't like, and he, and he does the same stunt that David did. That does not give him. People would be like, "Oh, Austin is out of bounds. He should have given that guy a refund." But because it's, it's David Yost, JDS friend, there's some sort of doubt here. The, there's no doubt here in my mind. Like, um, I did not get what I paid for. Two autographs out of six. Come on, people. And he knows that David Yost. If he's watching, he, he David, you know, you know what you did was 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 shitty and um and there's people on this channel that are supporting you so um if you you can choose to come on the channel because they'll support you david so you don't have to worry about people being like me because um, i'm just one of a few there's people in this in this channel that support you david so don't be afraid to come on and answer some questions because they'll be supporters of you david so yeah, I don't I don't know what else to discuss. All right. Well, thank you, Brent, man. What do y'all think of this? Are y'all team Brent or team David Yost? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next video. Peace.